Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the disk drive on your Xbox One. This will work on the Xbox One, the Xbox One S. This is an Xbox One original drive. Um, when you change your drive it's not going to work. It's not going to recognize disks or anything like that because you need the original daughterboard because this chip here is matched to the actual console so you will not be able to update or do anything if you just put a new disk drive in so this video yeah, is just going to be really quick on how to change it but first you're gonna if you have the black thing you just push these just pop that off and then you got four screws here 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 and here it's just just Phillips so you take them out like that You're just going to lift that off. When you lift that off, you've got some ribbon cables here that you can detach. But there'll be a couple of screws first. Four screws here. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, it's got some screws like this, like here, here, over here. I think there's another one somewhere. But anyway. They're just Phillips as well, so they just pop out. That's it. Then to get the lift the ribbon cables, you can just get a tweezer. You lift up from the back and you just pop it up like. They, yeah, they just lift up when you pop them. So you go to the back one and just grab it, and it'll just lift. Same over here. This one. So it might just look. Yeah, that just pops. So basically, if, I don't know if you saw that. So you just, these, uh, they just lift down. See, that's closed. Just pop it up. Same on all of them. And then you can slide your cables out. This one pulls like this. Don't pull too hard. And then, what you're going to have to do over here, because it's connected over here, with the red and black wire, just a tiny bit of flux. Get your tweezer and a solder there. Just grab the end of the wire there. Just heat it up. Just fucking tweezers. And it'll come out. I've, I'm not using the best tip in the world for this. A bigger tip would probably be easier. You just heat it up. And it will slide up. And that's it. So now you got your all the out. You just want to go and put your new one in back in. Um, actually, now it starts. I'd have to remove the motor off this one. So it's the same thing. Just heat up. And
Yeah, I'm just going to turn up the heat. You want to be using a probably bigger tip and make it a lot easier. So now you're going to want to place the new board in. Just do it like this. We'll just sit in there. And then you can reattach your cables again you just where's the fucking tweezer push these up you just want to push this in same over here lift and it'll just slide in. Might you want to use a tweezer in this honestly my tweezer is a shit as well. Let's get a new one. It just slots in. Keep that open. Push it in like so. And you can close it. This one, same again, you just lift up the front here and it'll just slide in. Don't force it in, it'll just go in. And then that's that. Secure it with some screws. Now that you got that done, you're going to want to reattach with the red. If you if you look down here, you'd have <coughs> on the motherboard. I don't know if you can see it, but you'd have a B. There'd be a B here and an R here. B is for the black wire. R is for the red wire. So just want a tiny bit of flux. tweezer again hold the wire with the tweezer and just hold it on that spot there with the heat and it's on black wire same bit of heat and it's on you see those wires now they're reattached everything is in I'm gonna get your place now. Let's just, go. just put it back on like that. To line it up. Just make sure it's going on the right way. Possibly go this way. this way because it lines up better this way like it didn't line up the other way so that's how you know if you're putting it on right around and you just get your four screws
that's it that's how you change the drive now that's all for this video i hope you like it and if you do i'll be doing something different in the next video